Hey everyone, and welcome to The Wearable Guy. Today I'll be conducting a screen brightness test on the Apple Watch Ultra 1 and the Apple Watch Ultra 2 displays. So Apple claims there's a 50% increase in the Ultra 2 brightness from its predecessor, the Ultra 1, and I'm here to test if that's true. So throughout this video, uh, the Ultra 1 will be on my left wrist. They're both gonna be on my left wrist, but the Ultra will be further up on the left-hand side, while the Ultra 2 will to be to the right of that. Uh, both of these devices, as you will see, will have their screen brightness turned all the way up, so it's fair. Okay, give me one second. There we go. So brightness is all the way up on both of these. So I'll be testing these out outside as well as inside with poor lighting, and I will also be testing them inside a completely dark room to see if we can tell a difference. All right, so right off the bat while we're inside here, before we step out, there's not too much of a difference. Maybe the Ultra 2 is slightly brighter, but I don't know if I'm reaching here. Again, they claim there's a 50% difference, and that should really stand out, and I'm really not seeing it too much, although I'd say it's more like 20% inside here. All right, so we're gonna step outside now and see if we can tell a difference outside with some actual sunlight. Right, we're outside now. As you can see, it's a pretty cloudy day, a lot of overcast. So I'm gonna show you the difference here between both of the watches. On the left, we have the Ultra 1, and on the right, we have the Ultra 2. And even in sunlight, I don't see much of a difference. I'm gonna try to get it at every angle here. Yeah, I'm just not seeing that 50% increase that we should be seeing. All right, everyone, we're inside now, as you can clearly see, lights off. We're testing both watches in complete darkness. And remember, the Ultra 1 is on the left, the Ultra 2 is on the right. And in my opinion, the one on the left, the Ultra 1, is significantly brighter here. Like there is no, no contest at all. Not sure what's going on with that. But again, both devices, their screens are turned up all the way, the brightness. And the one on the left is significantly brighter when it shouldn't be. We're inside now. In the garage, there's no lights on, but there's obviously some natural sunlight coming in. And again, I'm not really seeing a difference here. We'll get some more colors going here to get a better idea. I don't really see a difference. And keep in mind, the Ultra 2 here is supposed to be 50% brighter than the 1. That's a significant difference. We're not talking 10% or 20% here. This watch should really, really stand out from the one on the left. And it's just not doing that for me. So let me know in the comments if you can see a difference here. Remember, 50% difference, it should be a large difference. I'm not talking a slight difference, but if you can see one, let me know because I might be missing it, but I'm not too impressed. So if you are looking to buy an Ultra 2 for the reason of having a brighter screen, you might wanna rethink that because it's clearly not much better at all. Okay, we're back inside now, here to wrap this up. So what I noticed is there's really not much of a difference between the Ultra 1 here and the Ultra 2. The Ultra 1 was actually significantly brighter in a completely dark room. The Ultra 2 was not brighter outside, like I thought it would have been. Although it did look slightly brighter when we first started this test inside this room. It looks a little bit brighter here. But in my opinion, the Ultra 1 looks brighter on this screen. So I'm not sure what's going on there. But as I mentioned before, if you're looking to get an Ultra 2 for the brighter display, you might want to consider holding off for now. A 50% brighter display should really stand out. And as you can tell, it's just really not doing that. 
So please let me know your opinions in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe because I'll be making more head-to-head -head videos like this in the future.